everybody and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with a match reaction guys. Well, Wolves nil, Manchester United nil. Overall, a boring match. A match that wasn't worth your time. If you had a, a good Saturday planned and you cancelled everything because of Manchester United playing at 5.30. It was a complete waste of time guys. One of the worst matches I've ever seen in a long time. It was really poor. We had zero shots on target throughout the whole 90 minutes. It's the first time in a very long time that I've seen Manchester United actually attempt no shots on target. And that's just down to just coaching and what's it called motivating players, man management, and everything, tactics and everything. And that lays back to the manager. But yes, guys, in this kind of a match reaction, this Basically, not that much to say because um, I thought we was completely shit, completely shit, completely boring. We lacked everything, and I believe that if it wasn't for um, an, a disallowed goal, we would have got knocked out. So there's nothing to actually take um, as a positive from all of this, from this match, especially this match against Wolves. Another game against Wolves that we cannot go over the line. We can never cross the line against Wolves. For some reason, they just keep and have, they have one up against us. And it's pretty poor and pretty sad because the, our competitors such as Liverpool, such as Man City, has absolutely wiped the floor over with Wolves. But yet, we can't do that. And why is that? Why is that? Let's, let's go straight into the match because I thought the first half was boring. There was pretty much nothing to say in that first half. Except for, um, what's it called, Dendonka's offside, um, sorry, um, goal that was disallowed for heading the ball and just hitting him in the arm. So, as, as you know, the new rule says if, if if your hands are involved within scoring a goal, it will be ruled as offside. So, it was rightly, rightly the right um, decision. The referee made the right decision at the end of the day. And then we, it, it was nil-nil at half-time. Second off, same as always. Um, not much, you know. You know, a few opportunities. Rashford had a chance to score and he scruffed it, hit the bar. And also there was a penalty um, that we could have got from Brendan William, but the referee said no. And also we had an opportunity for another penalty with um, Marcus Rashford, but it wasn't given. And rightly so, to be fair. We didn't really deserve anything from that match. It was the worst match anyone could see in a long time, you know. For Manchester United, oh, I've got to say, guys, um, what poor, poor performance. There were so much players that were absolutely poor. And I have to say, say, ask myself, where the hell was Angel Gomez? This was a perfect match for Angel Gomez to play. And yet again, yet again, Wally Gunna Solskjaer just ignores the young boy. The only bona fide number 10 that I believe we have at the club that's got the tactical, I mean, the technical, um, what's it called? The technical ability to play in number 10, the level of creativity that we need to play at a number 10, and the ability to score goals as well. So, yet again, we keep asking and questioning this. What are you going to social? You keep on claiming that you want to play youngsters, but at the end of the day, you hardly play the youngsters. You hardly give them a chance. You always play your idiot players that keep making mistakes. This wasn't a match for Matic. It was a match for Angel Gomez. Um, this... I would not mean it wasn't a game for matter. I mean, it was a match for Inter Gomez because you need someone that's got creativity, a bit more legs, you know, and something like, someone that can create chances and give him a chance at the end of the day because I've seen this boy. He's talented. Inter Gomez, I believe, if he was, let's say, for example, at Barcelona, he would be playing right now. He would be getting some games, starting time. If he was at Juventus, any other club in Europe, like Dortmund, they would have given him an opportunity. But yeah, it's because um, Oli thinks he's too small for some reason. Like that makes a difference. Look at people like David Silva, who are midgets, but are very, very, very effective in the game. You know, like they don't get out muscled or bullied off the ball because they know how to use their body. They're a very clever player and intelligent players that will just know how to manipulate people into getting into them and then getting out of them. So, um, what league on a social? I don't know what he's playing at. The match finished nil nil. Pretty much boring. Useless waste of a time. I'm telling you now, you could have done so much things than watch Manchester United play against Wolves. Uh, pretty much nothing to say about this match because um, it was poor. No shots on target. 
it just highlights everything that's going wrong at Manchester United, guys. It highlights everything that's going wrong yet again. But I'll move straight on to my man of the match. I thought Romero was great in goal because he saved us. Another clean sheet for Romero. And I have to say, Romero should play the next game. He should play the next game and let David De Gea get dropped because David De Gea's head hasn't been in the game for a while. He's just constantly making mistakes. And then my donkey of the match probably is Matic, as always. Matic was, what's he doing there? Just, what is he doing there? Like, what's your purpose anymore? He's just slow, he's that itch, he's not moving much. He doesn't really offer anything. And yet, and time again, he's given the opportunity because we don't have any midfielders. We have no midfielders and we're in a position where we have to pay an old man, an old man who's finished, that cannot move to play. And yet again, we... We, we may not sign. And that worries me, guys. That really worries me. Yeah, I thought Max for my donkey of the match. And let's move it straight up to the player ratings. And we in goal. Romero, numbers. I'll give him straight a seven. Because I don't think everyone played well, to be fair. Um, we had Ashley Young, a four. Um, Lindelof. And Maguire, five. Brandon Williams, a six. Done pretty well. He kept um, that guy, Adema Traore, a bit quiet yesterday. Definitely. And also, we have in midfield, we, who would we play? Andres Pereira and Matic. So, Matic, straight um, don't give the match free. He was poor. He was absolutely useless. And you had Andres Pereira. I don't even know. I'll give him a 4 to be honest with you. He wasn't really that great. And on the wings, you had Daniel James, who was poor again. Five, um, you had Chong. What, what, what did they do? What did they do up front? They had nothing. Scraps. Him as well, another five. And then we had up front, we had Mason Greenwood, which Mason Greenwood tried, but I'll be honest with you, he, he didn't do much. He also would get another five because that front three was absolutely useless. What was the point? Especially when the midfield is crap. And of course, who came on Marcus Rashford? Um, I will give him straight and up five. What, 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 what did he really do when he come on? Nothing as well. And Fred as well. He should have got the rest of full nine minutes. He probably was thinking, what am I doing out here? Like I've played like four games in a row, ninety minutes. I need. I'm. I'm tired. I'm tired of Wally. Wally, I'm tired. Like, can you not see it? Or are you just, just, just tactically, just blind, physically blind, and everything to see that people are tired out here. Yeah. And then, uh, I can't remember who else came on, but it probably, probably doesn't matter. I can't really, I can't really remember. And my manager rating, it's a zero. Only it's time for you to just pack your bags, leave. Do us all of it. Just go. Just go. Take your coaching team with you. Take places with you. Take with, with you. Take the secretary at Manchester United with you. Take the visuals with you. Your recruitment team with you. Everyone needs to go. Clear up. Uh, clear up. You know? We need to do a clearance sell, like just get everyone out, closing down sell. Get rid of everyone. The players, you can't really get rid of them, only some. Some some deserve to stay, but a lot of people need to go. Guys, this is it. Um, this is the show. I'm going to wrap it up because there's nothing positive to say about this match. I've got nothing to say. Yesterday was the first time I've, I was able to write barely anything, you know? I had to look at other people's uh, match reactions and match analysis to get something up because when, what I saw, there was nothing to write about. Nothing to write about. It would have been a two-minute match reaction, to be honest with you. Lucky that I got soft like match of, man of the match, donkey of the match, and player rating that, you know, can you know give you some some more, you know, minutes from me, deservedly. Guys, catch me on the next show, which is the catch-up. Um, I believe I should be recording on Wednesday. Catch up volume two. We'll be talking, discussing quite a few things from this match and what's been going on the next few days, all the way up to Wednesday. Catch me on my socials, Red United TV at, on the Instagram. Oh my God, almost 120 followers left to reach the 1K region, guys. Guys, follow, follow, follow. Yes, keep supporting me. I'm rising. My profile is raising up and I'm pretty happy. Guys, just I'd like to thank you guys as, as because of you. I've got there and I'm almost close to a thousand. Do do follow at Red United TV, the official Instagram page, and also my socials, guys, which is at on the underscore spice for the Instagram and also for the Twitter as well. 
And also, if you'd like to follow me on Snapchat, that's the same thing at, at Ivorian underscore Spice. Yes, yes, yes. And also, do follow on Instagram, Silence is Power for the latest hats, latest track suits, latest bum jackets, you know, latest tops, everything, you know, to just to get yourself a, a good, nice street wear, you know. It's very cool as well. Um, just just go on the Instagram page and then just DM the, the the DM the Instagram page and then you'll probably get a, you'll most likely get a reply and then you'll you'll get some prices on what you see. All the clothes are on the Instagram page, so yeah, get to following as well. Show some support, guys. And remember, guys, don't forget to put smash that like button and subscribe. And then you tell me also what you thought about today's match. Mm -hmm. You told me who your man in the match was. You told me who your donkey of the match was as well in the Wolves game. Let us know, guys. Let us know what you think of what match was going on at Manchester United. Are you in love with Manchester United or are you not? Guys, catch me next time. Peace out, guys.